Hi you guys, Ginger Cook here. This is Monday Night Acrylic Painting and you know what? Well, I think I've got the January blues. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we need to go somewhere. We should go to, let's paint something in Hawaii. What do you think, right? Maybe it's the Caribbean, but I think it's Hawaii. We're going to paint something from Hawaii tonight. What's even funner than that is that besides painting this, this picture of, of some place in Hawaii, we're going to be able to mail out this painting that I'm doing tonight. If you are one of the, the fortunate people that catch our shows as they first air on live on uh, YouTube, and uh, we'll put up the, when we get to, what, how many likes we get? We, do we need, John? We need 300 likes before that we, link we, is we, released. We, we'll put up, when we get over 300 likes, we'll put up the link for that. And we've got other prizes in store. So, um, John, with, if you want to... Um, without have, further ado, that's what they say, you know. Yeah, this is what they say, all right. And that's John Little, my... Um, Cohort in crime. And significant other. Uh, he was recently referred to as the camera boy. and <laughs> Cameraman. Uh, Cameraman, okay. Yeah, well, I'm it's a not quite the pool boy, but it's close. So, uh, <laughs> just saying, you know, you guys, you know, he, he makes a cute camera boy. I like that too, right? My camera boy, my little camera boy over there in the corner is going to be <laughs> with the cute beard, right? Yeah. That's you know. Cute. Anyway, um, so we're going to be doing that. Where is the camera nail, camera boy? Because you're wandering around. <laughs> It's right up there. So you there, wait yeah. everybody. <laughs> Just, but this you is the other thing we're giving away, too. Oh, I'm already down. Oh, you're down. That's why I You told asked. me to go down. I did. I said go down. All right. So. Put that there so you don't, don't use that brush, though. No, no, I won't. So I have some. One of our generous moderators. Can I say her no, name? No. No. You're not even, no, you're not even supposed to say anything like that. Oh, well, somebody. So never mind. Never mind. We'll talk erase later erase about that. This. Erase that. Somebody I have to go back and edit this now. No, you can't. Somebody <laughs> in our studio audience, right? In our studio audience. It wrote us and said, listen, I want to be part of this gift giving. So um, we're not only be going to be able to give away the painting, which is incidentally is done on these little 6 by 8 canvases. They don't come colored. We just use the <laughs> leftover paint from our stuff. And John just paints them after a show's over, so we don't we don't waste paint. And we end up with these neat colors. They're kind of neat. These are all probably these are all Salvador colors here, right? Most um, of them are, yeah. So if you look at this right there, that color there, that's the brilliant blue. Say that's your sort of brilliant blue color. If you add a tiny bit of yellow to that, you can get a really nice kind of tropical blue. Okay. So um, and uh, anyway, the, the, I'm gonna. Um, I don't know if that's the color I'm going to use tonight or not. I think so. I think we're going to use this. Um, well, I don't know. I gave you some, several well, good Well, I got confused because I wanted to tell you about this. This, these are, this is a, these little uh, sheets of canvas are sold when Jerry has them by Jerry's Artorama, and they're called Paramount Canvases. And then they do an upgraded version of that, and that's called Centurion, and that's the linen, which is really nice. Okay, and our generous person donor. Has said benefactor. That, benefactor, your benefactor has. Go, we're going to be giving away also tonight a uh, a ten sheet Centurion linen canvas and a ruby satin silver angle brush. Somebody three eight cents. The Queen's Choice. My favorite brush, the one I use all the time. We're going to be giving that away to in our drawing too, which is really neat. And how and many what more? What else are we giving away? Well, then we have. It just it's just hard to imagine. It gets better. Because I, I, I don't, I don't know about better, but certainly it. more luxurious. We are then going to find some. Someone will win us, a, a, courtesy of the Salvador Paint Company, a full set of 24 of these Salvador paint colors, 12 of their um, brushes. And I have to say, I'm loving the liner brush in this group. The little tiny pointy brushes, I am loving in this group of brushes. They're they're really nice for thin lines, and comes with a little palette and sponge and so forth. And, um, and so forth. We think that's really cool. Now, you know, there. The one of the reasons that we we talk a lot about and we use the salvagers on YouTube is because we're doing small paintings, and the price is very good. If you're starting out painting, you don't have a lot of money. When you buy a full set of of uh, the full set of acrylics, the nice big tubes of acrylics, of uh, we have like 12 colors we recommend people get for our in our academy, and mostly we, we have 12 big tubes of paint. You're you're almost 200 dollars or more where you can buy a full set of 
the Salvador pays for under 25 and if I use our coupon code, which is in the description, in case you're you right. You typically get it for under 20 bucks. You can get it for under 20 bucks, which is a good way to, you know, um, you know, maybe you don't know if you want to paint this week or, you know, you want you wanted this color, you don't know, you know, you're just maybe you just want to know. But this is a very nice thing. The trick is don't use a lot of water with these. Just keep a dry brush. You'll not see me damp brush the most. I don't use a lot of water with these, nor do I do with these you either, by the way. You don't use water with anything. I don't use water with anything, <laughs> but I'm just meant saying that, right? So that's going to be... Because they're, they're, they're considered a... I'm like they're, a they're, medium they're, body. They're a medium body. They're not a soft and they're not, not a heavy body. So if you're used to using the heavy body uh, paints from Golden or say heavy body Liquitex or Matisse, they're a little softer than that, but they're not real soft. So they're actually, a lot of people really prefer them. And uh, some good news is Salvador has told us that they're coming out with some tubes of paint that are going to be this size, right? This white, the size of this white. They're going to pull a set of these paint tubes that it's just the tubes that'll be this this large size of the white they're going to do that, that be, the whole set would be that it without will be brushes that, those big, big, big just tubes. be the paint so, you know, so we're so excited we, about that there, we, we think that's nice because i mean it's a good thing to try and then and then uh, and then of course we're talking we'll tell you about the uh the secret of being, even mixing these colors with the original 12 if you have the original 12 colors we recommend you pick any of these we'll show you how you know we'll tell you how you can learn about that so um, so then the question gets answered. Let me put this away because we don't want to mistake it for anything. The question that gets asked, then gets asked is, okay, that's all cool, Ginger. What are you giving away? We know what you're giving away. You're going to give away an original painting, okay? <laughs> you, you know, the, the, the brush and the, um, Paramount, um, Paramount you know, canvas. Uh, canvas pad and, uh, and then a set of Salvador paints. What are you painting? Well, wow. I saw this and I thought, what could I do with this photo? Uh, this just uh, doesn't it say Hawaii to you. I thought, well, let's you know, just... I, I was thinking of the Bahamas. Well, yeah, too. Could be the Bahamas. Could be anywhere. I wasn't impressed with Hawaii. Well, I know, but John came at, <laughs> at a heat wave, so he didn't like it. But I'm just saying, I, um, I'll tell you a funny story, too, about a hammock in Hawaii years ago. It's a great story. Remind me to tell you that. And I want to thank our moderators for uh, being with us tonight. Uh, who we got out there? We got uh, Tonya here tonight. I'll we have sure Tonya, I'm... Steffi, Hi, Tonya. Luann. Okay. Uh, uh, what, what's her face? Uh, Liz. Liz. Hi, Liz. Hi, Tonya. And uh, what's her face? Judy's running around. Hi, Judy. I think we have a full staff. Well, we have a whole staff. Of the, so, and these guys, they volunteer their time. One of the reasons it's so fun to watch one of our live shows is because you don't have any trolls coming by snarking nasty things, you know. Camera Boy was about as... Uh, <laughs> As snarky as that got, and that was left in a comment afterwards about uh, how this person could do. Hey, without, I have been called a lot worse. This uh, could, the person could do without camera voice. Just a, I'm not seeing Lynn though. I have not heard from Lynn. I hope Lynn is doing okay. She's up in Canada. She's our Canada rep to yeah. person. So we haven't heard from her. How about Mona? Mona's in Sweden, and so no, she can come. Mona, she, when we do an earlier show, she can make. She can stay up for those. Yeah. So all right. So I, I think I'm going to use this as the. Um, primary uh, cyan color is the color I'm going to use for the background because that makes a that's almost the color of the sky that we have to do, do, be too crazy right no, no. So I like that so I'm going to put all these other little um, papers away and uh, not papers they're real canvas I don't want sand papers yeah I don't either you're confusing the audience sorry you guys so, okay. now they do not curl on me because I do not make them really wet mm. What we did find was, and I'll tell you, we're going to give some tips throughout the show. So I know that if it's grass is starting to grow under your feet a little bit here, keep in mind that as you as the show progresses, besides amusing stories and painting techniques, we're going to give you some tips. And one of the tips is is that I have found that on a loose sheet of canvas like this, if you use heavy gels, it has a tendency, because it wants to shrink it, wants to pucker. So they're probably not the best if you're going to use like a heavy gel or heavy medium on them. That's true. You probably want to use a stretch canvas. We do, But this paint, particular painting could be done any size. All right? So um, one of the, the first tips I want to give you is the, yeah, avail yourself of a, of a T-square. Veil and the, the the veil yourself there, and, and um, you can get them solid. I like the, these because you can see through them. Let me just uh, move these paints out of the way up here. I think I can move the Salvador paints down here now. I don't think I need those up there. 
I will I will rearrange my um, my desk here desktop a little bit here just rearrange it so I can use my T square now um, of course you know we talk about um, a two line grid but one of the things I like to do is sit there and say all right if this was half of my painting right here you'll notice that the horizon line is um, just slightly above half. Here's the crease and the, my dark ocean. Oceans tend to be darker blue where the sky meets the um, ocean. That's called the horizon line. And it, it, it that there's always, if you 90% of the time, maybe more than that, the that last little bit of ocean is always a little darker. So I, if this was, and we know it is, so let's, let's not get into the was stuff. If this was is um, a, a, a four by six, right? Six by eight. What is it? Well, it's still a six by eight. Still a six by eight. Good, good to know these haven't changed. A four by six. Okay, six. Oh, so I'm going to say half. Half of this is three. So I want to go up about a. Uh, the camera's being possessed. But, but just a touch, about a quarter of an inch above that, above the halfway mark, and that doesn't really matter. And I want to just go ahead and draw a line like this now. Here's one tip you can just... You can take this to the bank. Take this to the bank, friends. That's what they say. Take this to the bank. You don't want your ocean draining off the side of the <laughs> earth, so you've got to keep this line level. I've seen that happen. I get very concerned. People get that crooked, and they said things wrong with my picture. I don't quite know what it is. Could it be that your ocean's just draining somewhere? It's uh, somebody sucking it out from the other side of the earth that we offended somebody. You know? hey, Lily, Lily has a question. How does the weather affect these tubes of paint in the mail? Seems risky. Um, mm, no. No, it doesn't. No, they're fine. Never had a problem with them. Um, I don't know if they can freeze. We know Holbein and Golden can be frozen, I think, up to 20 times from Golden. Holbein, I think, is the same, but... Only problem we've had, I think, was with Matisse one time, and that was coming from Australia, and it was their, it was the clay body, the uh, yeah, anything that's made umber. out of the clay, like the burn umber, burn, yeah, burn umber. Burn Those Sienna. are from anybody. We've had bad burn umber from everybody. So it come down about three. Other than that, weather has not seemed to bother them through the mail. Okay, just, just all right. So we're gonna say this is the water, and this is the sky. Yeah, everybody's with me on that. You have a w and I'm, and I'm kind of liking that a little bit, but I'm not sure that um, ratio to ratio if I'm good here yet. <laughs> I think I am. I think I am. So we're just we're going to go with that. So I'm going to take a wide brush like this, and I'm just going to put the sky in again, right? And I'm going to dampen it, wipe it off on a on a uh, little uh, towel here like that. So it's just damp, and I'm going to start with the I'm going to start with the um, I think the brilliant blue. I'm going to come up here a little darker like that. I'm going to come up here. I think I want, this is zinc white over here, and I'm going to just put a little white in that. Brilliant blue. Come up to the top like that with me. Like that. Now, I'm going to start, then I'm going to go down into the uh, primary cyan, a little bit of white, and come underneath that like that, like this. Now, let's just melt out that seam. Let's take a little titanium white, primary cyan. Let's melt out that seam. That means that, you know, there's no striped ties here. If you go up too far, you, um, you'll you find that uh, uh, you, you'll lose the dark. So you have to be careful. All right, so we're overlapping. And this is just a zinc white. And um, a little heads up here. Um, your sky gets lighter. This is another rule you can take to the bank. Sky sky gets lighter as it um, as it's down toward the horizon. So even if we don't put any fluffy clouds in here, it's a pretty big big picture. I'm gonna make this kind of simple for you. I think you guys can do this easily. And um, I've got that, and I think I want this even whiter. So I can take a little bit of white, tiny bit of magenta. Oh, I guess that's that violet color, red violet. And I want to just pull down here a little bit of this pink color. And I can do that because the blue underneath this is pretty dry. See that? Where my horizon line is, the blue. So I've got these sort of pink clouds that are down here, kind of just like that ocean fog. Yes and yes? 
All right, so wipe all this off. Okay, and then let's take a little bit more of the, let's take a little ultramarine blue. Right like that. We're not going to stop. Right like that. There you go. Here's ultramarine blue. Remember I told you that was our uh, dark ocean color. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to rinse that off the brush. This is key here. I'm going to rinse that off the brush and wipe it off. Now, I want that, uh, that brilliant blue and a bit of white, titanium white, tiny bit of primary yellow, a little bit more. And I want this sort of... Um, really brilliant sea foam green blue. And I want to come color. along here like that and just blend that out here like this. Okay, and then let's try a little bit more of this blue and white. This brilliant blue and white. Let's try a little bit of this color. There we go. And we're going to come down about this far. Okay. I think I want that even brighter. Let's take a little bit of white and brilliant blue. I want it a little bit lighter here. So let's but I still want it kind of green. There we go. Here's a question from Joanne. Can Ginger give us some tips on how to develop and find our own personal style of painting? A question we hear often. Yeah, people always ask that. And um paint paint more. You gotta paint a lot and try different styles of painting. In other words, the one of the reasons that we recommend copying the old masters and copying other artists that uh, for instance uh, somebody sent me in a painting today of, of from of the, in our academy of these radishes in a copper teapot and if I had it I would show you but what was interesting to me was that this particular artist had done the pot much differently than I would do it. But uh, so I taught that lesson and everybody learned that but now I have two different ways to paint copper. And so eventually what will happen is it, you sort of develop your own language then. You sort of combine, you start combining things. But you don't, you won't have it, um, you won't combine it if you don't know that it's combinable. Does that make sense? Yes, yes and yes. So that you've got to, you've got to do enough different things. Like for instance, try a palette knife, try a, a Try impressionism. Try, um, you know, try. Um, try tra pointillism. To drive try, yourself nuts. Try, try, try some different things. <laughs> Look and, at some of the and, old and, masters. And, see what and, they've done. And see what they've done. There's a reason why they're hanging in museums. These people, and, and you can learn a lot from them. That's one of the reasons we emphasize those guys a lot. Now you'll notice I'm going to just bring my my ocean back. I stopped it here, but I'll just bring this back here like this. Like that. See my deep dark line there. Told you that's a horizon line. But what I want to add now is um, um, here's some permanent green and a little bit of burnt sienna and a little permanent green. And I want to say that I'm going to put up here like this. I'm going to just allow for a little bit of a land mass here. Not going all too far with it, but I'm just going to suggest that there might be one like that, that there's somebody living uh, back here on this peninsula, so we're maybe in some sort of island cove. That's kind of fun, right? And then rinsing the brush, and then I'll take a little bit of the burnt sienna. Rinsing and, and wringing out. And wringing out. Burnt sienna and yellow green, that, that kind of yellow green color, probably about three-fourths yellow green, and then I'm going to wipe off the brush like that, get a little bit of the zinc white with that, Tap it off. Now I'm going to just tap on this in here like that. Just tap on top so that the some of that dark shows underneath. There, there you go. So now I've got some tropical hills back there. Didn't have to do too much to get them. Yep. Um, in our photo, we have these fluffy white clouds. Now the photographer's sort of stuck. Whatever's in the sky, he's he's got to deal with. I know sometimes they'll go into Photoshop and take it out and so forth, but basically it's kind of stuck. So then the, then the question is, do we need the clouds? And I'm thinking that we probably don't, but what I might do is change brushes, take a little of the zinc white and a little bit of that uh, uh, violet color. And uh, zinc is a transparent white, right? And I might come up here like this, and let's see, let's add a little titanium to that. 
let's just make these a little I'm going to wipe off all the paint there's just there's still paint on my brush but the trick is you start off with less you you know so we're going to say I'm going to just suggest that there might be some clouds this way just like that just 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 a few little low hanging low hanging clouds I don't want to get too too too, too tricky but we'll just Say off in the horizon, there's this. If you were out on a sailboat, you wouldn't look at this and say, oh my gosh, we better go back. You know, and we don't want those kind of clouds. But we do we do think we want it a little bit lighter toward the horizon. So we'll just do that. So acrylics try darker. Sometimes you get it light enough, sometimes you don't, right? Um, the other thing I can do is turn this upside down, come along here like this, and... Uh, Put some wispy... Just kind of... Uh, you see how the you know wherever there's a light you're dark. So now you see how our um, um, little our, our little um, um, uh, peninsula shows up, right? Then let's take some of this light blue green color. And if we want to be the last of the big spenders, let's come along here like this and suggest that um, there's just something there. We can give it a. Oh, and we could give it a beach. We do that. It's not in the photo, but let's give it a beach. Okay. A little bit of gold here. A little tiny bit of a beach. Okay. We're not going to put any houses there because I own this island now. Nobody gets to live there. <laughs> <laughs> I've claimed it. All right. It's my fantasy island here. Okay. So now I've got that. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. You know, all the brush hooks are going across. This is called... This is called gradation when you do a sky like this. And we have a video on YouTube on just how to do gradated skies. It's also, we have a, a series of, of videos you can own called Back to Basics. And we talked about how to do a, grade, grade, a, a gradated, gradated sky, which is um, when you're doing watercolor, for instance, you do it differently than when you do it in um, acrylics. And um, which is interesting because in watercolor, you know, you, you keep overlapping as you go down on wet paper and acrylics you have to leave a space and then come back and melt in between it's a little different technique than normal so this needs to dry so while this is drying let me just show you some stuff you guys I'm real excited um, over the holidays and we just didn't get a chance to mention it um, we got a nifty book and somebody sent uh, who, Brenda. Brenda sent us this little uh, bag. Look at that with the little stripes inside. Bag and book. B blending is my cardio with a little, with a little brush. Isn't that a cute little bag? So thank you, Brenda, for that. Appreciate that very much. We, um, Luann, we did get the fudge. We did it eat seems the fudge. That the, uh Sophie staff scarfed it. We just, you know, we got the fudge, and it was probably, you know, you know what? It, it was a while ago, and I just sort of forgot, so i sorry. <laughs> so, so sorry, we did get the fudge. So, um, we think that's kind of cool. And, um, let's see, what else was I going to show you while we're doing this? Um, something. Oh, yeah. Everybody, every week in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting, we have some... We have something that um, is, we have new releases. And I want to show you what's getting released. You'll have to back it up just a bit, John. I think for, I'm there. For, for this week, this is our, this is Rogan. And he is called, he's a gypsy horse, and he belongs to a good friend of mine uh, that I've known for, oh, 40, 50 years. I want to start saying, you know, we've known each other a long time. And, and, uh, this is her horse, and um, she asked me to paint it. And uh, well, she didn't ask me. She it was actually she didn't. She, it was a birthday <laughs> present, and um, I did it as a as a birthday gift for her. And, and we um, still have it. And we still have it. She hasn't seen it yet. She doesn't watch this show. I told her until I sent it. I said she couldn't have it until. Um, so we showed it to you all. Until we, you guys got to see it, and we and it's also a lesson. And until we released the lesson, I couldn't mail it to her. So her birthday was some time ago. She, it's going to be late, but she's going to she's going to get uh, uh, Rogan, and um, and again portrait of her gypsy horse. So they gypsies have the blue eyes. Do you think that's the release for this week? You said so, wasn't it? Well, I need to really. It wasn't the that. turtle, was it? No. Okay, well then, probably was. So, all right. So this feels. I got several in the queue. This you feels. Know, was that one? So this feels dry enough. Now, 
what I want to do is we've got some beach sand here, okay? So I know it's a photograph and it's white, but here, and it's, you know, this these people, there's no such thing as white sand. I guess there is, but they probably, it's probably man-made sand they brought in. But we're going to take some white paint and make a little bigger brush here. We're, we're taking some titanium white and a little tiny bit of yellow oxide because we don't want it totally white, okay? We want to have a little bit of color to this, okay? And we're going to say, that's too yellow. So let's put a little bit of burnt sienna with that too. Just to, you don't, we want a little bit whiter than this. Okay, so we're going to say that's, boy, this is like Goldilocks. That's too brown. Okay, so now I'm going to wipe the brush off and just go into white paint. And that'll be about right because when I mix this together. So this is our, uh, this is going to be our beach here. Our white beach. The white beach is not quite white. Which is, we don't, don't want it quite white, you know, it's another little trick to don't have it too white. But there you go, there's our beach. And you see how how much brighter this this color looks now that we've lightened this, all right? Let's take a little bit of this. And we'll have it a little bit browner down here. Okay, we're just going to come on down here like this and say so here's our here's our beach. Now, what's, because we're going over blue... This automatically, because it's not going to cover completely, it's going to have some shadows in it, just naturally created because of that. Do you see that? So then if I take a little bit of burnt sienna and violet and add to this mixture, this sort of violet color, I can say, I know I've got a, got a, um, um, Let's see, where's, there you go. I've got, a, I've got some, um, while this is still wet, I've got some shadows I can put in here that I want. And I think I need to come up a little further with the beach. The beach comes up a little higher than I have it. That's all right. We're going to do that. Got some shadows coming up here. A little bit more white up here. We're going to just bring this beach up a little more like that. Okay. And I'll just put a few little shadows going this way and maybe this way. We can always come back with more paint, right? So brush direction being that, it's not, not totally a smooth beach, but we do have, it's light enough where we've got, um, we've got some good, good shadows. Let's take a little bit of blue with that brown here. Let's make a little darker gray shadow now. And it just... I'm going to put there, oh, that blue in there is pretty, isn't it? Here's some, okay, so there we go. Very very loose style of painting. You've got some shadows on the sand from trees that you're not seeing. Okay, so I'm going to take some dark paint, have it rinse my brush, and I'm going to come over about to here. And I'm going to come up there to there, and I'm going to just cut off this tree right here. I'm going to put a tree in coming up here like this, a palm tree. About like yay. About like that. Okay. Okay. And it's kind of curved up that way. A little bit of blue and burnt umber. And we're going to bring the brush. This is the other trick. When you're doing trees, don't just go up and down. Um, you're round. Kind of round the, round the brush a bit. Okay. And then I've got I've got another tree right here, and it, it ends there. So one of the things you can do, and here's another tip, just put a, um, a mark where you think you want your tree to go and then where you want it to start, and then maybe one in the middle if you're not sure. Ooh, did we just, well, that'll get covered up with something. <laughs> how did that happen? I don't even remember how that happened. No. We can rewind the tape, though, and look. Well, we could. If we had tape. Remember well, the old days we, of tape? Yeah, remember that? Well, what's our... VHS. Right, there'll be birds later, you guys. No, never fear. We're all right. <laughs> so uh, It won't be a flying tractor, I can assure you of that. All right, so we're just going to curve this one up like this. And I want it wider at the bottom. Typically. A little bit of zinc white with my, on my brush here. And on both sides, a little wider at the bottom here. Remember, your tree is fatter at the bottom than it is at the top. So sometimes I see people and their tree gets real fat in the middle like it ate something. Okay, so you got two little palm trees there. And then right here we've got another one that's coming up 
this way. So we'll go ahead and put that one that starts about here and it's coming up this way. We'll just pull a line up like that. Start to pull it. So I can, as I'm painting these trees in, why don't I answer a few questions, John? Okay. I have a question for you. Do mm. you go to Galveston Beach? Um, no. <laughs> no. Haven't been people. to Galveston Beach unless we've gone down on a cruise. Uh, you know, we go down to Galveston on a cruise, but I've never, we haven't gone to the beach. I, when John first came to Texas, um, she I took to him to Galveston so that he could see it, you know, so he'd have that experience. It, that, um, which, you know, which, see a little bit of that blue here. So I have an ultramarine blue and burnt umber. That's really dark. So I'm going to just a couple places. Notice the layering, lots of layers. Yeah, see, that's just barely touching it there like that. How many cookies is the horse and the beach painting of tonight? Um, I think that horse is probably a four cookie lesson, don't no, you think? No, we wrote it down to three. Three, maybe? All yeah, right, well, maybe this could be three. And the, the, this, this painting tonight is like a one cookie. This is pretty easy, you guys. This is pretty, this is pretty simple. Well, that's what I thought. Oh, this is pretty simple. You just, I think that, you know, what other people do sometimes when you see the painting parties, they go so simple. And they have to do that because you don't have a hair dryer and they've got to do it in three hours. And so they make, you know, painting party people, if you go out to a painting party for 50 bucks, I might add, though you can't go anymore, they're probably all closed. Um, the, um, they, the, the, they keep it 16 by 20 and they do it very, very simple because something that big takes time to paint. Um, we can um, easily do um, uh, a one cookie or a very beginner lesson here because you have more colors, more paint, and more time to do it. Okay, does that make sense? So you don't have to, you know, you, sometimes people say, well, what she does looks hard, but you'd be amazed at how easily people can do it. Got a little of that light orange in this one. I'm going to bring this around. See? Um... So then, you know, you, you get, the thing about palm trees is, is that they're sort of a back and forth. You, you don't want to stripe tie. You want to bring some of the, the bands around. You know why they get the rings on the trees is because every time they, it starts off little, when they cut the dead ones, it leaves a ring. And they just keep getting taller and taller. We had a, um, it's a couple of these Washingtonian palms in my in, in, here in Texas uh, that had grew for years and I had this dog and he thoroughly enjoyed just peeing on the trees the palm trees out in the backyard that was just great fun right and then they got tall enough where they were touching the electric wires in the backyard and every time he peed on them that he got shocked didn't deter him but I was very concerned so I, I had to First, I tried to get anybody to come because they don't have a very big, deep root, and they were root, and they were very pretty. I thought someone just could come have them. They wanted to dig them up, but event, the power company came and um, um, did it for free. What are composed colors, which is different than composite colors, which is different than? I don't know. That, 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 I don't know. That's, I, that's, that's not really, a term that I'm. That I. I don't know that I. It's a photography term. We use it in the photography. Day. It's something we probably did discuss in our um, design class. Yeah. It's more along that line. That'd be probably my topic of coverage. Yeah. Okay. You want to answer it? What are nope. You? We're going to save that for our design class. Okay. It's quite involved. All right. So all right. So you can see what we've got. And you know, if you didn't even put the hammock in, we're in pretty good shape here. Yes. Yeah. Are the Shola would like to know are the Salvador paints good pigment and what comes with the kit? They're very good. They're very good pigmented paints. The it's white a, is the surprising. only one that really isn't. The white you need still need a like a like a Liquitex heavy body or titanium white from um, Golden. Gold and they're they're working on the white, but right now in my opinion the white isn't it. But the white's almost like a zinc white, which is pretty good actually. So you know, for clouds and stuff, but to me, it doesn't have enough coverage. But the but the but the colors are very good, and the kits are fine for the, for this. You know, for what we're talking about here, they're they're quite good. And in the good. little kit, you get the 12, 12 brushes, twenty four paints, and a little palette. 
plastic palette and a sponge and a, and a palette knife. Yeah, you get all that. You get the um, you got a little palette knife and let's see. Here's the here's the palette knife they give you, which is kind of nice, right? A little metal palette knife, wooden handle. That's nice, right? Gets your job done. Salvador, yeah, you get that. So um, yeah, you get all those things. Now, uh, as you can see, we've got the light coming from this direction, and so we're. Um, we're lighting the trees like that too. We're just making sure that we have, you know, some light like that. There's not just one color. You know, we kind of layered it on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I want to put the palm fronds and stuff on here. And so now we get the um, now we get the lesson. See, where did my chalkboard go? Here. No. Yes. Okay. So here you guys go. Here's that Ginger's chalkboard time. Okay. The 3DB. All right. So, I want to say first that we have had in the past a lot of paintings on YouTube that uh, do palm trees. For instance, here's one you can still find palm trees, little painting, little paint. In fact, this would look, um, this would look real cute with this, don't you think? So make a nice little set. You could do that, and you might change this a little bit, make the be, you know. Uh, but I think that you know we've shown you how to do this before. Is what I'm saying. And, for instance, here's another example of a painting we did on YouTube, and uh, you see where the sand is white. So, what if you did this, this, and this painting together? Could they be a? Could you do something similar, right? I think and make you could. them a set. See, yes, and yes. Absolutely. So, um, we have these different things, um, but anyway, I'll I'll tell you again, okay? So, palm fronds are not combs. You can write that down. So if I've got a palm tree that's coming up like this, okay, uh, here, and I'm going to say that I've got some palm trees coming out of it, palm fronds coming out of it. You, obviously, you're not going to put on as many as there would be, right? Think of, you know, but what they are not is like a comb, and that's how people want to do them, or they'll do this and then wonder what happened to their... Um, their painting why it doesn't look right okay but if you look at them if you look at them they've got a spine they've got a spine and then the, the, the and then the front the the leaves or whatever frond things come down and if it's sometimes they spread out but mostly what you're talking about here is they, they the, the line starts at the spine Spines are drawn first. The line spice starts at the spine, spine like that, like yay, right? And then maybe this one overlaps that one. But they are not this. Okay? <laughs> they could be, um, they could be this, like this. They could, you know, like this. You could have them like this eventually, or, you know, crossing down like this. Okay? And there's lots of different palm trees. Google a few. Really look at the leaves. Look at the shapes. Cause you know, look at the shapes. Google a few. But that's basically what you're talking about. That's what you're painting. But pretty standard palm tree. Uh, there's coconut palms, date palms, all kinds of different palm trees. But um, uh, that's what you want to consider. So if I'm saying that, then what I want to do is I want to have a. Um, gonna take some white and a little of this light. Well, it's probably this darker green color and I want to just start up here curve it around I'm not going to go clear to the clouds I'm just going to curve this around like that and you're not going to see the top of this tree it's way up there you're not going to see it it's a tall tree so this is a tall tree and then I'm going to say I've, this one's got one that's coming this way and then kind of droop and I like this one that's sort of drooping this way and uh, there's one that's kind of curving around like that yeah, maybe something off the top of this then, like that. Okay, so you start with your you start with your spines. Start with one of your darker colors first. Okay, like maybe some gold, a little bit of yellow oxide, maybe some green, and um, take your brush and just using that angle brush. Let me just get one that's a little has a little bit sharper edge to it. Okay, there you go. Just let's make sure you have enough paint on your brush. 
Okay. See how I'm pulling the, the pulling and lifting up? So, um, same thing here. I'm just starting at the spine. I want a little bit more paint on the brush. Go slower. Now you could do a uh, you could do a um, a liner brush like this. You could do a you could do a liner brush if it's easier. Dagger brush would be good too. You can take it if you need a, something that goes a little smaller for you. Uh, that's a liner brush. Let's see if I can find your dagger brush. Here's a dagger brush. They that dagger brushes would work well for this too. Um, a stiffer, stiffer bristle. A little stiffer bristle, so you can have a little bit more control. You, you have to moisten a little bit. That can't be a dry brush. It has to have a little bit of flow to the paint when you're doing this. But see, you can... And you may have to get more paint each time you do it. See? When you find you're not getting anywhere, get more paint. But I can... These are my darker colors underneath. And I'll just keep... Um, put a little water with that these and then I'm going to come around here like this. I'm going to actually make this a little wider. This palm tree like that. I'm going to come around this way on this one. And let's do the same thing here on this. Let's let's come this way. See I'm just pulling up, lifting up, flicking up. They all kind of overlap. It's a kind of like hair like um, uh, little brush strokes. Okay, so you start with the darker colors, your underneath colors first, and then you're going to put your lighter colors on top. So let's take a little blue on this and get this darker. Yeah, let's make this darker yet. Now, if I want to do a lighter color, then I might get into my kind of that yellow green color and um, come on top of that. Let's see, let's put a little white with that. Could, uh, probably the best to let that dry, but I'm not going to take the time to do it. <laughs> John, you should be getting ready to. I'm going to have to dry soon. So. Oh, no, if I need something. You always need something. I you? always need something. But you tell me when it's, the show's live, oh, you're going to need something today. Well, of course you're going to need something. We got to be able to dry stuff, right? Um, I got my quintessence. You need a long dry or short dry? Well, I'm going to have to dry this before we put the hammock in. So a minute probably, and a half. Then I'll give you a minute and a half. So I'll give you one, one and a half or two and a half. Uh, one and a half is fine. You got a one and a half coming up then. That's getting a little thick on my brush, but you see how we're. You see, they're never just one color. This is a little azo yellow medium. You know, sometimes they're. Um, see, this one has two sides. You know, they're just. Uh, they're never just one color. If you look at the pictures, sometimes they they're discolored a little bit here, like that. So, don't be afraid to. Um, See, I think we said this one was coming down here like this. And, uh, and I'm just kind of going off my, here's my spine here in the middle here, which is kind of light. And then I'm going to come off here like this and say that there's this one. Let's bring this down a little bit. I'm going to bring this one around a little bit more. There you go. Okay. So I've got some... Um, and now the next thing I want to do is put the palm tree in, but I'm in the greens here. So one thing I can do is I can take take some dark greens here, and I want to say that um, I've got something growing up here on my... Oops. Uh, I'm going to, going to grow with something. Well, let's just do this for a minute. I'm going to go up here. But, all right. Um, I'm going to grow something very soon. I'm going to grow something very soon here. Um, I think I want some sort of banana leaves. So those are fun. We're going to we're going to do something like this.
For those of you that did not get our newsletter, I'm sorry, a little announcement for today's show. We did have in there our auction schedule has been released from the stuffy staff. They got together and figured out what it would be. Our first live YouTube marathon live event will be February 5th, right after the Queen's birthday. That will be our first live auction on YouTube for the 2021 season. You do those so well. Thank you. So we're just going to say that we've got some sort of... Is that uh, your dagger brush? Yeah, it's a dagger brush. We're just saying we've got some sort of plants growing here like that. And, um, you know, it's the, it's, it's the beach. So we'll just... We'll come back and play with those. All right, so just, just suggesting that those are there. Okay, and where's my lighter? Here, just got something bright here a little bit. There we go. All right, so I've got some little plants growing there. And um, I'm going to dry this, and then we're going to put the hammock in. Okay? All right, we'll be back after she dries. When you look at a painting like this, have you ever wondered how to mix all the colors to, to get the different shades of blues and greens and tur turquoises and acrylics? Or do you look at that and say, oh my gosh, that's just too hard. Well, I've got some great news for you. With over um, months of work on this, John and I have put together Ginger Cook's Quintessential Color Mixing Journal. It takes my 50 years of being an acrylic artist, professional artist in acrylics, and I show you my top secrets on how to mix colors, how you only need 10 basic paints plus white and perhaps two Ponus colors to get all the colors. And we show you step by step how to do it. This video is over uh, and we show you how to make your own journal. This video is over 13 hours of uh, step by step uh, instruction on color mixing, what you need to look for, how to do skin tones, how to make grays without blacks. If you have blacks, which ones should you own? Um, and not only that, but that we include a bonus uh, video at the end, which is over five hours of actually how to paint the boats and how to use a journal like this every time you do an acrylic painting to um, make a record of how you painted it and help you refer back to it and use your journal to show how black and white and balance your lights and darks. This is the best thing we've ever written together because not only have John and I written it for you, but you get to keep on writing it. It's a never-ending journal, and your journey is going to be different than mine. Maybe you live somewhere where you don't get the paints we get in the States, but it doesn't matter. Whatever acrylic paints you're doing, you can use this journal and make it work, and we're excited to bring it to you. And not only that, but uh, I want to take the confusion out of mixing colors for you guys and make planning. We want to make bring fun back into your acrylic painting, and I think this is the book that does it. All right, Miss Gigi, you are back. Okay, so now we get to put in the hammock. Yes and yes. I want you to notice that it goes this direction and this direction. If, you were to, if they were to meet, they'd meet in a triangle up this way. Does that make sense? Yeah. If they were to meet there with a circle. So we know that we've got this one is going this way, and we've got this one going uh, this way, up at least an inch above there, right like that. That's up up in here like that, right? Like that. There's this, um, and then we've got the, let's see, let's take a blue piece of chalk. I think I've got some blue chalk. For those that have not seen the color journal the quintessential color mixing journal that we just showed you, you are using your own paints. We are just applying the instructions on how to do it. So it's going to be your paints because you need to do it. You need to do your own paints because so, you need to see what your paints can do, not what our paints can do. Okay, so you see we've done a, kind of a big smiley face here. It gets narrow here. And... Um, we're going to come down this way and curve it like this. Yes and yes. So that's how this 
That's why you want chalk. That's how this this works here. Okay. And this little thing works here, and this works here. So um, let's just paint that in. Now we're going to take a little bit of this beige color, which is a little bit of azo yellow medium, a little bit of burnt sienna, and we're going to go ahead and say this is our. And pull this across like that. See, this is our hammock, like this. It looks divine, doesn't it? So I said I'd tell you a great hammock story. So some years ago, this is like 20 years ago, uh, my husband at the time, George, and I went to Hawaii on a business trip. And um, I had given him for Christmas that year a metal detector. And he had discovered, the he, he brought it with him to Hawaii, and he discovered the best place to find anything metal on, was under the hammock. That's where all the money was. People dropped stuff out of their pockets. The hammock was the place to find treasure. <laughs> That would make sense. People lay in those things don't even realize it. Yeah, and so that you know they're losing stuff, and um, he really made some people mad. This one lady was in the hammock, and he's got this, you know, it sounds a little bit like a blender going nah, 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 <laughs> under her hammock. She's 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 in the hammock, not finding this anywhere near particularly amusing, right? As as one could understand, yes. So, um, anyhow, she got all upset with him and um, told him to just get out, that he was just a menace. And she didn't want to see him or his metal detector anywhere on the beach. Well, the funny thing was is that um, the, um, all, this is a business trip, and we were kind of new to what we were trying to do. He had a little invention. He was trying to get some of these players to invest in these companies to invest in his invention. So um, we had, he had gone, um, so what that, uh, he had, uh, every, all the guys were, you know, except for dinners and stuff, they were in the meetings and stuff, everybody was out playing golf. Well, George didn't play golf, but, uh, but you know, because it was Hawaii, they, uh, these families had brought their uh, their kids and wives along, and who were apparently not invited to the golf to play golf either, so they were uh, stuck on the stuck on the beach, you know, babysitting the kids on their vacation, right? Um, which, as you can imagine, probably wasn't, you know, there they, there were some disgruntled housewives, right, that are just feeling a little bit, you know, this was our Hawaii vacation, husbands off playing golf and. There they are with the kids. So, anyhow, um, let's just curve this down a bit. So, George has got his metal detector out there. And he's he goes up to a couple of the kids. He sees a couple of the kids that belong to the, the fathers of some people he wants to talk to. And, um, you know, he gets out his metal detector. And, of course, you know what kids are. What you got? What you doing? Kind of thing. You know, kids want to know these things, Yes. Absolutely, kids definitely want to know. They definitely are interested in whatever you got going, right? And um, so he says, uh, "You know that the people that live in this hotel are billionaires, and they they lose stuff all the time. And we can find. You want to find some treasure? They're going. Oh yeah, let's find treasure. And so then he goes along the beach, and he salted the beach a little bit with some coins. And then the metal detector goes off and there's 50 cents. Look at that, 50 cents. So then the moms figure out what he's doing pretty quick, right? And they start salting the beach with stuff so the kids can find it. He's got his metal detector like the Pied Piper. Well, it's kind of cute, actually. And, um, and uh, anyway, he, he keeps those children entertained. And then the lady who had kicked, who was mad at him the day before, um... She, um, 
apparently had lost a diamond ring. And he found it for her on the beach and gave it back. So then he was sort of the hero of the day kind of thing, right? And uh, Which was sort of, you know, actually kind of ironic because she's the one that had been complaining uh, profusely about his metal detector. But the kids all had fun with that. And um, that was just sort of the the uh, the vacation story there, which I thought it's a kind of a cute story, right? But it is true that uh, if you have a metal detector underneath a hammock, is not a bad place to start. Okay, so we've got our little hammock here, and now we've got to do a little bit more of the shading here. There's a, just a little bit of shading here. We're just going to put this down here like that. Okay, like that. There we go. There's a little bit of light on the on the hammock there that's kind of diffused light. And then we'll put in some of the let's see. What are the some of the stuff? So anyway, that was the funny story with the hammock. It's a good story. Yeah, well, you know, there's a couple of places that, you know, you, that um sometimes, you know, oh, and then then what happened was at dinner, the wives all came and said, George, you got to meet my husband. This is the man that was so nice to us. All those people that had been sucking up playing golf, right, didn't get the business meetings. And George got all the business meetings he needed to, um, to uh, that he couldn't get because he didn't play golf. So the kind of the nice said, you know, maybe it's better to be nicer to the kids, right? You know, figure, figure out who's really in charge of this group, right? The wives, right? <laughs> <laughs> just okay. Let's bring bring this out a little bit. We'll bring this down a little bit more here. Let's just sag this. Let's just sag this down just a bit more like that. All right. So we got our hammock now. What we need to do is take some um, white and uh, pull some. Just gonna put a little bit of the little bit of texture. A little bit of texture in this. The weaving as it were. Just gonna put a little weaving in it. Let's see if that even works. Don't know that that shows up all that well, to be honest with you. It's no. okay, but it's not great. But I will put a little bit of like a little fatter rope right here on the top of this. And uh I'm just going to turn this upside down. I'm going to make sure I got the shape right on this because I'm thinking my shape's pretty good, but I'm thinking it needs to be. Yeah, see, some, do you ever do that? Just turn something upside down to look. I need to bring this out like that. There we go. You have. That, that's just a little trick there. Just turn something. You're not sure. Look how much better that looks. Not sure. Just uh, turn it upside down a little bit. See what you get. And uh, there we go. So now we've got now we've got a neat rope that's going. We need a tiny little brush for that. Let's just do this. Let's take some um, red paint here, some vermilion, right? Maybe a little bit of Peralia red with it. And I want I want some bright orange here. Why is that? Why do I want bright orange? Don't say it all at once. You know. Okay, so these there's a knot up here, like there. There's a little knot here on the rope here, and then there. This is the fun part. I have never particularly enjoyed a hammock. Do you like a hammock, John? I've never been a big hammock fan myself. I have not either. I've never found them to be all that comfortable. I've never quite understood. Maybe my back just never was meant to be in a hammock. So now the the knots right here on this one, on this goes up. Lorraine like, Glass guessed it right. Complimentary to blue. So listen, um, if um, we want to uh, thank, we had a couple of members of our academy scholarship. A few, a lot of people have had to. Um, uh, drop out of the um, 
of our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting because it basically things have gone on so long and nobody's got a job. You know, I mean, jobs are not um, not happening. And and we've had some very nice members um, scholarship um, people who just temporarily are just in a fix, and you know that this happens. That people people really do get in a fix about this stuff, right? So um, and we want to thank that. So John and I have, whenever you guys donate for somebody else who's maybe had to drop out because they just couldn't couldn't afford it anymore, um, because they just you know they got to make a house payment. Let's face it. Um, we've been matching it. We've been doing matching donations. So uh, again, we want to thank people who are doing that. And if you want to do it, you can do the Karen Little Scholarship Fund if you guys are interested in that. And also. Um, just if you have somebody in mind, or if you just say, because we get, you know, we're happy, you know, uh, we're happy to um, support that. So far, so good, you guys. Yes and yes. Looking primo. Yes, it's just kind of getting there, right? Now we're not, we're not done yet. Um, I felt that there needed to be. A sailboat here. Maybe a little one back here. They're very tiny, you guys. Think of the little tiny triangles. Teeny tiny triangles. Keep it in mind, you know, they're out. Don't make them huge. Yeah, if you make a big, <laughs> just you make a big one, it's gonna be a little odd. So take a little bit of ultramarine blue. These are the Posca brushes, by the way, the, the, the Salvador brushes, right like that. Salvador brushes, in case you were wondering. I was. And um, I almost would like this even more tropical than this, so I'm going to do something. This can happen, so I'm just going to show you. What are you going to do? I want some. Well, I, no, I'm not. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. When I varnish it, it will get brighter, so I'm going to sit here and do this. And so this is zinc white, and I'm going to just make a little bit of a, see that, see my little reflection? It's just the mirror opposite of what you've got there. So you've got some little reflections on our little boats out there. And they're a little bit white, so this, we don't need them quite that white. We want them light, just like the sand, but you see, boy, that your eyes go right to them, don't they? So let's just tone those down a bit. Push them back. Uh, they're just, uh, we'll push them back. We'll just put a little yellow on them. So they're not quite so white. What do you guys think? That's some. All right. Yes, yes, and yes. Yes, and yes. Okay. So now um, that's good. So far, so good. And, uh, Let's see. Oh, Karen would like to know what kind of varnish do you use? I like to use the gloss medium and varnish from Liquitex because it actually it's not it's it's a uh, it binds and grabs molecularly the paint that's it, it grabs the molecularly on the paint so it's it's a final coat and then it I don't an I part. and that it just that's it and it also brings the the colors back out now I think for our let's see where's our I had another little brush here. I think I'm gonna use the dagger brush for our birds. I want a few birds in here too, but let's 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 fix this. We had a little boo boo here, and I see it, so we're gonna fix it. Okay. So let's come right up into this light green. This is that light green color, which I think is pretty. I think when you're doing tropical paintings, you want you want you want to feel you want to feel like you're in the tropics, yeah. Yeah, no, I wanted to do this. Let's see, I'm going to break that up. Those little elephant, those little banana leaves. Where's our sand color? Here, just do this. There we go. Put some of the cuts into it. Yeah, you got to have a little. You know, the wind kind of whipped it up there, and I think I want a little bit of. I want to make sure I have it light enough back up here. Okay, these are you know small little tweaks, but let's let's bring this up here a little bit more. There you go. 
So there's our hammock, our ocean, and we need our birds, yeah? Yes and yes. Need a few birds. And uh, about before we do the birds, we need a few. This got a little dark here. What happened here? We just, well, acrylic dry darker. So let's, let's bring this. Dried. Let's bring this around. Let's just get the tropical. Let's just feel the breeze. Can we feel the breeze? I'm feeling the breeze. You're feeling the breeze? Feeling the nice tropical colors here? There you go. It feels very hopeful. Hawaii to me, doesn't it? To you? So, make sure if you want to, a chance to win one of our giveaways this evening. We've got three giveaways going out. Make sure to fill in the form. Bider Raiders are putting the link out there now, I see. We got some, th we got some th thumbs up. We've got 414 thumbs up with 566 souls watching us. Okay, and speaking of souls watching, um, some of you may not know this, and those of you that do, I want to give a shout out to um, my daughter Cinnamon, who will be on tomorrow um, afternoon, evening. And, um, you know, she does a regular, uh, you know, she has her YouTube channel on at those times of day, so I want to, you know, want to mention that. And uh, The Art Sherpa. The Art Sherpa. Search for the Art Sherpa and she'll pop up all over the place. Yeah, so be sure to say hi to, you know, say hi to her. She, um, she sent me something kind of neat for my birthday that I'm trying out, and I'll let you guys know if I like it. Some art supplies she thought I might really enjoy. It's we know that one of the other staff members will enjoy it, though. And um, so I just um, I feel like we've got uh, uh, I think we're doing pretty good here as far as the Birds got now. You want to keep your birds small. If you get them too big, just come back with some blue, and just uh, make them a little smaller. So there's our birds. There's our hammock. Um, anything else I want to add to this? Maybe a little bit of. Now I'm looking at this. Now I'm seeing what else I want to do. So we're going to start. Uh, let's just pull some of this here. Let's so get your entries in. Yeah, because this is about the queen done, is you guys. Up. This is about done. There you go. Just I feel like we've got to have our. There we go. That that feels good to me. So it feels feel good to you guys too. All right. So I feel like that's our um, our happy hammock in Hawaii. Do you think we do you think we made it there? Okay. Uh, I, think I think we so. did. We got our tropical food. beach and. Um, our horizon line. We got our cl fluffy clouds. Everybody should be happy. We didn't. You don't use very much of this paint. Um, you can see we put all these colors out, but you don't use. You can see I use very little paint. Can you see that? Because it is richly pigmented. Just it goes a long ways. Yeah, it does, isn't it? What'd you guys do with my pencil? E B. Okay. Mm, so you easy. guys, let's 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 find some happy person to win this, John. Well, how am I going to know if they're happy? Well, I don't know. We're not a happy person though to win this, because I I I got to tell you that I I've, I've kind of felt a little bit um almost like tra traumatic stress from from being um under the gun of being afraid of. COVID for like a year and the, you know what I mean I just feel like I felt we all needed to get happy I thought maybe painting we, something we happy would, a break. we just needed a break from this didn't we don't you think so absolutely I, I, I thought we absolutely did so I'm going to just uh, come up here and sign this like this hey we'd like to thank Sharon for the donation that came in through PayPal to help with scholarships thank you both for always being there for all of us thank you for your donation all right, I got my winner, winner chicken dinner. Okay, who's who's won this? Somebody in the very, very beginning of the show. Really? One of the first people signed up. Really? No kidding. It's going to no go kidding. all the way to South Carolina. Woo! Well, that's sort of tropical. Anyway, South Carolina can be very tropical. For those of you who are wondering what I'm using, if you're new to our channel, these are... Posca pens from acrylic Posca pens from uh, we have them in our Amazon store link um, and I like the fine point ones for signing your name very nice 
else that share that. So congratulations on that. Do we have a, you don't have that frame anywhere, do you? That wonderful little Well, yeah, frame. I have the frame somewhere. Oh, I have the it one anywhere. we had last week, do you remember what you did with it? Yeah, I put it back. Oh, do you know where that would be? Yes, it's in the supply closet. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Just sit tight so I can at least announce this first winner. All right, who's the first winner from from the Carolinas? Uh, winner, wait, 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 wait. Winner of the painting, hammock. We'll call it hammock painting. Um, look. Painting, going to South Carolina, is uh, Lisa Beakley. Oh, wow. Congratulations, Lisa. Lisa Beakley, that's nice. At least I feel like I need another boat here. I got this closer together than I wanted. If you do four, you have five. I know. I need like a couple of boats. I need, I just, these three are okay, but I need another one over here. Just do some real small ones in the background here. Just felt like we... We needed the regatta here today, you guys. Um, just felt like that's what needed to happen. Um, I just these three were kind of a little distracting, so I'm gonna just do those. There we go, and I got those over there. That I felt like we just needed something like that, a little bit of light here. So as I look at this, I originally when I planned this, I had this boat moved over, and I got a little close needs to be like over there, but that's all right. I don't want to take it out, so I just added a couple more. And that's really what you'd see on a day like that. You'd see the birds in the sky like this, and um, like you see here, you see these, you'd see these, these birds in um, three, five, you'd, you'd absolutely see this. And the smaller they are, the farther they are away, see? So... There you go. So we got our birds. Ah, oh, now I'm feeling like we're in Hawaii. All right, so you brought me the frame. just want you guys to see how nice this looks. Um, when you frame these, they can be really cute. Just a cute little bathroom picture. Or you can get really crazy and do something crazy. like you this. a museum piece. And have a museum piece and really frame it like that. And feel like, you know, the nice thing about it, when you're an artist, you can change your paintings all the time. You need to feel better. Paint a vacation and go on it, at least visually, <laughs> with your paintings, right? So here we are. Um, hope that was fun. So what so, are you drawing for next will be the Salvador paint kit? Yeah, let's draw that. Let's start the Salvador paint kit, which uh, somebody said when you get, you get the 12 brushes, you get the 24 tubes of paint plus an extra tube of white, a sponge and a palette and a, and a little, um, pa and a, the plastic palette and a sponge and a, palette knife, which is, where did I say that was, right here, like a little palette knife like that, get that. So somebody is going to win that, which is neat, right? All right, so the winner of the paint kit is going to go to Arizona. And, and these are fun too. If you've got some grandkids or some kids coming over, and um, you know, and they want to paint with you, um, these are very forgiving paints. They don't have to know a lot about mixing colors to make these work. Kind of can David, be very happy. David Stafford. David Stafford. Well, congratulations, David, on the winning the Salvador paint kit. That's awesome. I and think we've that's got just one more item to go, which would be from their benefactor who gave a ten sheet canvas of the. The good stuff. Yeah, let me just put this in there like that so you can see it. There we go. So this one, this one, that, and then, so now we've got the, yeah, this is, the. what's neat about the Centurion Linen Canvas is it's so smooth. If you're doing any kind of detail or uh, that, this is fantastic. And uh, it's a little, again, canvas sheets, just like what I paint on, just a little higher end, I, and they're lovely. So someone's going to win this and one of these um, um, acrylic, uh, Ruby satin silver angle brushes. This one is a three eighths inch. It's the one you see me use all the time. This is a very nice, extremely nice gift. Not only are these almost impossible to get, because they they sell out so quickly. We mentioned them. Everybody wants these brushes. These are the go to acrylic brushes. This whole set from the, you know, the big ones to the small ones, short handle, and um, but um, the 
but they're just you can't ever have enough of those. So who who won this, John? That would be Kathy Ooh Mc McElwini 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 No, it's Mick and then Elwini. McElwini, okay. And she is from the Washington State area. Washington State, all my old stopping grounds. Of course, I grew up in Bellevue, so that's kind of cool. So, all right, you guys, this is... Um, so that this, is uh, winners of this evening show, really big shoe, really big. So congratulations on that. Those will be going out Thank in you. the mail uh, this week. So look for those. And listen, when you win a painting, mm -hmm. if you're part of our free Facebook club, Ginger Crook Acrylic Painting Club, it's really nice if you post it when you got it. People, I, I, a lot of you do that anyway, but I like it when you do it because everybody, people, I think some people think, God, do you think they ever give those things away? Did they ever really give away the pictures? Now, if you want the, if you want the printout for this, or the actual, the, 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 if you want to get a hold of the, you know, the actual reference photo for this, uh, if you're a basic supporter and up on beginneracrylicartist.com, four ninety five a month, that gives you access to our YouTube um, reference photos as well as anything that needs to be uh, tracing too. So um, those are those will be there tomorrow the, for the reference photo. And you know, join for a while, quit. You know, you you know, if you see something you want, four ninety five just to. Uh, helps cover our, some of our costs. It's a nice thing to do. It's a way to show appreciation. So basic supporter and up. Uh, BeginnerAcrylicArtist.com All right. We have anything else, boss? We don't. Uh, we don't. Except, uh, I, I, here's the question you can answer for me in the comments. That when you leave comments after the show, um, where, do, where should we go in our painting journey to get us out of... To, to, to escape, where should we go? What should we paint? What, where what should we go? What land should we visit? Who should we, where should we go? Because I think it's time to start traveling again, you guys. There you go. All right, everybody. We'll see you next Monday, the twenty fifth. We're hoping. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Was that okay? I think so. 20 second spot only takes 30 minutes. Right here. One of the features that is offered on our website for. And let's try again. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
No hard hugs here, people. You're on your own. <laughs>